Hello there, a very warm welcome to Hive Sixth Form Annual Power to Perform uh, event. Uh, this recording is for anybody who was unable to join us on Wednesday this week uh, and we'll just give an overview of some of the things that we talked about. Uh, I'm Mrs Challoner, Head of Hive Sixth Form and in today's uh, video we're just going to talk a little bit about uh, the rhythm of the year, what uh, the academic year uh, looks like and how we continue to bridge any gaps in learning. Uh, we'll look at um, the uh, how a young person kind of manages learning and uh, and their life, social life. Uh, a little bit about how you can um, help us to support your child uh, and uh, a very, very brief comment about um, how, how we're preparing your young your young person for their next steps. Uh, but before we go any further, I just wanted to spend a, a moment or two celebrating our class of 2021, our outgoing uh, sixth form students. I'm sure you'll see from the data on the slide here uh, that they did exceptionally well. Uh, our young people, um, our, our results in Hive sixth form uh, get better and better every year and this year was no exception. So many congratulations to all of those uh, students who have just left us um, and um, I'm thrilled to be able to celebrate that with you. I also want to celebrate uh, the destinations that they have uh, moved on to. This is our outgoing class of 2021, with 80% of the cohort having achieved their first place at university. And those young people have gone off to far flung places as well as more local universities. But we are incredibly proud of their achievements. And we're looking forward now to seeing uh, what the class of 2022 and in year 12, the class of 2023, uh, what successes they will have. Getting to the point where offers are accepted at university and young people at, um, make those final decisions uh, are a really exciting prospect. But there is a journey to get to to get to that point. Um, there is um, a, a, a great jump, a great academic leap from GCSE to A level. Um, and our challenge is to, to support young people in making that, that leap, um, to support them into also making that next step off to university and also balancing that with the independence that they are, of course, all craving. So, of course, a typical day in sixth form is very different uh, to key stage four days, uh, but it is reasonably similar for year, similar for year 13 uh, from last year. Uh, as you can see, there are three periods of time whereby young people can use uh, our fantastic Hive Study Centre. Um, we also have brand new uh, in the new build at Hive Study. Um, which is a quiet space uh, for focused independent study. And of course, we've got Hive Fuel. So lots of places to, uh, to go during any free sessions. But most of that time, of course, will be uh, focused on completing the, the work that the teachers have set for independent work. Uh, you'll also see um, that home study is identified on here um, and um, that uh, will be negotiated over the next week or two weeks for year 12 um, and will begin soon. But you'll see that home study can be two sessions uh, per week, a uh, little bit ex expanded really from uh, the last couple of years, but home study uh, two sessions uh, per week. It uh, does give the opportunity for students to have a little bit of independence, but also uh, gives them time in school for that focus study. And we find that students uh, doing that focus study uh, does enable them to achieve those fantastic A-level results that you saw at the beginning of the presentation. Our young people have a number of opportunities during the week to take part in our enrichment programme. On Thursday this week, we uh, launched our societies and enrichment fair and young people had um, a variety of activities on offer for them, upwards of 15. So ranging from sports leaders to reading mentors 
to Let's Talk, which is our award winning mental health programme, uh, to the Environmental Society. So a whole range of opportunities for young people um, to have a go at there. In addition, um, on their timetable is ER for enrichment, but this is the SCAR programme, the Super Curriculum Advanced Research Programme. Uh, this is where students are led uh, into taking a really in-depth look at a small area of study. So uh, young people have uh, had the opportunity to just have a, a think about what that might look like. Uh, and uh, over the coming weeks, we'll talk about how to analyse text, how to analyse information, how to present information, uh, and also giving them a taste of the different opportunities that there are for advanced research there. Um, traditionally, for Oxbridge candidates, university uh, admissions tutors are saying that reading is incredibly important. So um, this is on offer to every single young person, um, but it is also an opportunity to learn some transferable skills of organising information uh, and, of course, finding different places to uh, find out information from. So young people have really enjoyed that over the first couple of weeks of term. Uh, I've already mentioned home study. Uh, home study has, uh, sorry, young people have the opportunity to do two sessions per week. We do review this and of course, in conjunction with you, um, we do reserve the right to revoke home study if a young person is not um, meeting attendance, punctuality, or of course, attainment targets. In terms of monitoring progress, we do monitor and measure achievement based on target grades. Um, we look at target grades, we um, provide projected grades, working at grades and an effort grade uh, on a regular basis uh, over the academic year. And here are the dates that we do formally uh, review uh, those academic targets. We could ask you please to help us to monitor a young person's progress uh, by first of all knowing their timetable and knowing when um, assessment and data points are. You should have access already to the MyEd app which is where the reports um, and, and the data will show. We've got parents evenings which will all be online this year as we had such positive feedback from them and we will be in touch if your young person is a cause for concern uh, because the sooner we can get um, the young person to have an intervention and be back on track the better. Uh, Satcha One or Show My Homework is still our way of setting homework for young people and you can have that app also on your device uh, so that you can see your young person's homework and help them to make sure that they are completed. Um, on the next two slides are uh, email addresses of uh, Year 12 tutors and year 13 tutors. I'm sure you already know these, uh, but it is definitely worth making a note if you haven't already of the people that are available to help your young person. So usually the year thir the, the tutor in the first place, year 12 or year 13 tutor. Uh, Mrs. Gosai is there to help with any admin uh, issues, bursary, etc. Mrs. Weston is our pastoral lead and of course I'm head of sixth form uh, and I have spoken to so many of you, you will know that I am also happy to help. Wanted to mention very briefly part-time work. Um, there are some young people out there who are doing excessive amounts of work. Although part-time work does have a real positive impact and it's something great to write on a personal statement if they can show some transferable skills, please ensure that your young person is supported and doing no more than eight to ten hours per week. We do find it has a really serious and detrimental impact on their studies, but it also has an impact on the, their ability to undertake enrichment opportunities. So please consider that long term view um, and please encourage your young person to minimise their part time work during term time. A little mention here about financial support. We do offer a bursary as do all post 16 um, establishments. 
Um, there is um, for any lower income households, which means anybody with a household income of less than £25,000 and may be eligible for a financial bursary. We do require some uh, evidence of this, but a young person can then claim against purchases of textbooks and we can subsidise their transport. If you think that uh, you may be eligible for a bursary, please ask your young person to collect a form from Mrs Gosai and that will explain exactly what you need to do. Very briefly then about next steps. This is particularly important for year 13 parents, but it's also uh, important for year 12 parents to have a, a little overview about what happens in year 13. So many of our students go off to university and so I wanted to share some of the dates and the deadlines for that. All university applications go through a programme called UCAS. Um, there is a, a deadline date, very early deadline date for early entry courses. These are Oxbridge, so Oxford and Cambridge, uh, veterinary medicine, medicine and dentistry courses all have an early entry um, opportunity and that is as early as October the 15th. So young people really do uh, need to be getting on with that if that is them and they're in year 13. For all other candidates, all other applications, our internal deadline is December the 17th. That is the end of the academic of the year um, um, and uh, although UCAS have got a later deadline you need to be aware um, that there is an awful amount of work that needs to be done on the application uh, in between that deadline date and the time that I can actually send it off so when the young person thinks they're finished that's when we um, uh, and certainly I have got a, a job then to check thoroughly that application. So I will ask for all of those to be completed before we break for Christmas, please. Little note on application fees, they are payable directly to UCAS and it is £26.50 uh, for their five choices. And I would encourage uh, young people to opt for all five and to choose their options carefully to have some that are aspirational um, and some that are slightly lower to ensure that one uh, they will be able to accept a place if they don't do as well as they hope to every single application is checked and then sent by myself uh, so please a meet that internal deadline and b be aware that once the young person has uh, sent the application, then uh, I will check it through before it is sent. I just wanted to end then by saying that young people have made a fantastic start and we are very, very much looking forward to a successful year with all of our high sixth form students. Thank you very much.